I think we should start on her. Oh, because okay. she's a cutie. Yeah, she, she's heckin' cute. She is heckin' cute. Don't boop her. She doesn't, she doesn't even need to be a puppy oh. in order to be heckin' cute. And you don't have to boop Muramasa her. Muramasa Rebirth! Yeah! Man, did I time that well or what? You did. That's like right at the title screen. I know. You're the best. I am. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. You're welcome. All right. Hi. New game. All that. Yeah. It's a new game, and we're starting a new game in the new game. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Yeah, see? Uh, Legend to Chaos. Style Legend, more easily to beat. All who stand before you. Chaos. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna be doing random bullshit in the middle of <laughs> trying to play a game. Right. Uh, now it wants to... Story... Okay. I, I, I was... Now, I have story. played this on the Wii. Right. And as I recall, you can play pretty much whatever story you want at any time. And you don't have to finish one before you do the other. That is correct. Um, what you are you, on on this this is the PS Vita version, by the way. It's the right. remake. Uh, on this version, you are what you select whenever you load the game, load your save game, is the story you are playing. If we want to switch, like, so if we start with we, we have to turn it off and turn it back on again to go back and forth or load or them. load. I think that's how you did it with the, the Wii. Yeah. Version, anyway. I, so yes, you, you're fine. Should, so, should I get a coin or are we playing as? No, her man? story happens first. Okay. So we're gonna play as her. Oh, like chronologically? Uh, like certain events happen on. on oh, all right. Okay. Control tutorial. Oh, look, we can't skip it. We have to <laughs> play it. Uh, yes, because I don't remember. Good idea. Yeah, I'll play as Momohimi, and whenever we switch over to Kiss, whatever the ninja gay, you can play as him. <laughs> Yay! Movie Damn character. it! Oh, we've got the beeper. Let me I'm go get it. Go get it while I learn how to play. You press Please. L to move. I'm pressing L to move. All right, perfect. I move. I, I, it told me to stop. Now I have to jump by pressing X. Well, then do that. I, I did. I did it. To I, I got a perfect. It's okay. Hold on. Now I got to glide. How do you perfect Whee! jump? Perfect glide. Dang, they're judging you all over the place. This is hard. Yeah, I'm. But I'm doing really well, man. Where was that sword? Uh, in my scabbard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they're calling it? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, 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 oh, excuse it, me. And now he's dead. Okay, he's not dead. I lied. He's he's the target ninja. He's only dead when the game needs him to be dead. Wait, well, if you... A... <laughs> oh, my... You I hope you're duck paying... and still I hope you're paying sword. attention for when you need to do this, because... Uh... I'm, I'm vaguely pretending to oh, okay. pay attention. <laughs> A low slash will hit them even if they're confused. What? Now I'm confused. Two more, please! Yay, I can roll. Oh, vanillaware. P press down and then roll it forward. <coughs> what? Whoa! Okay. I, I hope you're enjoying this, because I'm never going to use this ability again. <laughs> Why not? That it's not... Cool. It, 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 there's usually not enough time to do it. Oh. Because you have to charge it as opposed to just doing a um. I see. A cr a crouch slash. Dash attack. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can dash three times in a row. That's actually not exactly true. <laughs> <laughs> you probably have to press square again if you want to keep dashing. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this poor son of a bitch. Ah, uh, he's still alive. It's okay. The secret art concealed within your blade, like Misty Slash. And now he's still alive. Each blade has its own secret art. So it tells you to do that. That there is a way later in the game to forge your own swords. The progression of this game allows you to. Um, allows you such that whenever you receive a new sword just from being given it um, okay uh, it's oh my god the 
basically the high, uh, highest level power sword that you can equip. So there's usually not a point in forging your own swords until the complete end game, when you stop being given them. Really? Yeah. That's depressing. Well, unless you want certain special abilities. Oh my god, game. You, you, there's faster ways to break my sword. <laughs> Perfect! <clears throat> I broke my sword perfectly! Now, a broken sword just means you can't block with it, right? Um, you can't block with it and you take increased damage. Oh, you take increased damage? Yup. Oh, damn. But, whenever... Whenever you break a sword, it automatically reactivates this quick draw attack that they were just showing us. Oh, okay. So, sometimes you want to purposely break the sword, <laughs> so you can use your screen clear attack. <clears throat> yep. Switch blades. Quick draw. Hi -ta -ta. Holy shit, that sword is enormous. Um, <laughs> that is that is taller than she is. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's usually shown by the icon at the top of the screen. Like, notice our middle blade is a, a sword. It's a yeah. sword cross with a scabbard. So it's it's a smaller one, whereas the, the icon for this was just one really big blade. This concludes the character tutorial. Now take control and defeat the lowly ninja before you. <laughs> What's with the finger? Whee! Oh. It, 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 we're on the Vita, so the touch controls were turned on. I'll, between episodes, I'll turn it off. Oh, okay. Whee! But I can flute. Perfect. And you got a rice ball. I did. I'm gonna probably eat it. She did so did me. But I want to perform a tax. Enjoy the delicious... Okay, let me... Let me... <laughs> Perfectly switched to the rice bowl! <laughs> now eat it. Eat that rice. Oh, that's right, you can only eat so much. Yeah, you get a full miss gauge. Your life flame is snuffed out. It means you you are dead. <laughs> when you've run out of hit points, you are dead, so don't let that happen. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you earned a trophy! Would you like to go through the let's, let's no, not No. Let's let's continue with the story. Hey, our first sword healed. <laughs> you need a more powerful demon blade to break through this barrier. I, I like that that uh, trophy that we earned. Aren't you precocious? <laughs> 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 Trying to run away from the. Uh... Wee. Can she hover because she's a princess, and that's just what princesses do? Uh, she can have her because it's giving us tutorial screens and forcing us to stop midair. Um, I forget the reason she can have her. But sure, we'll go with that. It's a thing well, I mean, Princess Peach can do that. Depending on which cannon, she might need to upgrade her umbrella to do so. It's but true. nevertheless. <laughs> oh, and sometimes she just has to get really, really happy, and then she can <laughs> Then she can full fucking on fly, fly and yeah. turn into a tornado. Whee! I'm so happy I broke physics. <laughs> physics? What's that? <laughs> I'm a princess. I don't have to abide by your physics. I'll just use my own. <laughs> <laughs> What's this Higgs boson people keep talking about? Whatever. I don't believe in it. it yes, yes, that's one. That's a, that's a Gimme. basket? No, uh, it, it looked like a spark. On the mini-map there was a basket oh. icon, too. And it was red to indicate there is a hidden item. So, see. There's a hidden item Got somewhere it. on the map. This like, area like right is here. vaguely Look, familiar. It's hidden. Boop, found it. <laughs> you got a bamboo flask. Wee! I, I, just... I recall that as a minor healing item that's not very filling. Uh, sure. I mean, we'll look it up. Oh god! That is a lot of. Gross demon fish eyeballs. Eyeball They're worth fish. a lot of salt. Yes, they are. Yay! Woo! Beak. I love that they just they put the sword away at the end. They're like, okay, here we go. Well, it's done. You don't need it anymore. Two bamboo flasks. I just. I, I want to take a moment to just look at the background of this game. It's just so. 
pretty. Yeah. This, yeah, this is kind of gorgeous. I'll keep the mini map up. Like, and that's just a staple of vanillaware games. They're they're <laughs> everything is freaking gorgeous. Yeah, that's that's just how they do. But in this one, you don't have to grind uh, your your gardening skill to plant more sheep. So I, I tend to prefer this one over Odin Sphere, even um, though Odin Sphere is drop dead gorgeous to look at. Geez, Holy geez. shit, you're good at this game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was like the second game I bought for my Vita, so I played it a lot. And there's four um, story DLCs. Dang. That are... Yeah, I, I, I know. Samurai know how to block. That makes them a pain in the ass. Y you know what's also good at breaking their sword? Your special abilities. What what did they tell you to do? To... Oh, they told you they told us to do the charge attacks because you can't harm a samurai while they're um, switch that. You can't harm a samurai while their uh, their katana <clears throat> isn't broken because they use the same block mechanic that you do. Oh, it's just they have a hidden sword uh, durability gauge that um, when you break it, then you can deal damage to them. But the, over time they might draw another sword, and then they get the, the quick draw attack on you. And if oh, you're not shit. ready for it, yeah. That's a big soul. Ah. Uh, uh, Hi, high touch screen, please stop. Yeah, because I lose control of my character when that touch screen occurs. What is causing that to happen exactly? Um, so we turned the touch screen controls on way back when we played uh, Virtue's Last Reward on here. Uh -huh. um, and it's when you click in one of the sticks, it turns uh, that on so you can play touchscreen compatible games. Uh, but there's a couple of menus you got to go through to turn it off that I'm not going to subject our viewers to. So I'll just deal with it and turn it off afterwards. Got it. I mean, we're early enough in the game that it doesn't really matter. And we're not going for uh, the speedrun trophy. <laughs> We're not going for perfect here. Right. We're just going for pretty good. But that can hit a couple of those dudes. Um, so there's a uh, mechanic in the game where the the characters, after they take a certain amount of damage, go into an invulnerable phase. It's to keep you from indefinitely juggling things. Aww. Um, What's the fun in that? Well, I mean, you can indefinitely juggle them. They won't... You can continually pop them up into the air. They just won't take damage after a certain amount of time, and so there's not really a point in juggling them. Well, other than to fooey. keep them from fighting back. <laughs> Which, you know, in some cases is really good. Y yeah. Now, you just keep running through people's houses and taking their their hidden healing pellets. Well, I'm an adventurer. It's what you do. <laughs> they just didn't know it was mine. Yeah. Like this house. I mean, it was nice of them to hold on to it for me. But I need it now, because I'm passing through. And I'm passive-aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the float mechanic, though, does make some of this platforming ri like ridiculously hard to pull off. See, I would have figured it would make things a bit trivial. No, because... Uh, ow. While the, uh, while the float mechanic is nice, it does... Um, make uh, like she literally becomes more floaty. Oh, when when she's gliding. <laughs> yeah, I can see that being annoying. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's one of these yeah. stages. Wee! Okay. Yes. I. I... <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Save. Yes. Blade Zone Three. Blade Zone. Blades owned. Oh, oh, oh. A powerful adversary waits for you up ahead. Be sure you are prepared for battle before proceeding. Are you prepared for battle, Patrick? Uh, no. No? Not, not in the slightest. Oh, well, too bad. We're going anyways. But but why? Because I wanna. Because I wanna go. Well, fine. I feel dizzy. What a strange, silent place this is. I wonder if it's the netherworld. I thought that I had been cut in half from shoulder to waist, but for some reason I'm still in one piece without a single injury. 
I remember falling to the ground after trying to protect Yukinojo from an attempted assault in front of the castle's main gate, but... Still, I wonder where I am. If this is truly the afterlife, I'd better ask someone for guidance so that I don't lose my way. Dun dun dun. She's remarkably calm for surviving an assassination. Well, you know... Do, do, do. Oh, you, should, you should talk to people on the next episode. On the next because, episode? You know, okay. it's, it's boring. Although we'll it, save that for it later. Is, it is one of the, the best aspects of this game. But yeah, we'll, we'll, join, it. we'll join you next time for <laughs> discussion. <laughs> so fine. Bye. 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 Like I'll never die. I lose my head in the starry skies. Can't change me down. I feel so alive.